NEC Offensive Player of the Week and the New England Football Writers Association Golden Helmet winner. And he's got a first down for the Pioneers, taking it to the sideline right near midfield. Tenota out of Thornwood, New York, a senior. On the keeper, McCray will move the chains, running it out of bounds to the CCSU sideline up to the 37. Grant. Stuffed right near the line on fourth down, the CCSU defense. Looking to make the stop. Well, if he got to the 28, it's a first down. And he was there just a little late. First down, Sacred Heart. Grant with a big hole into the red zone. And then Malik Grant lost the ball. Recovered by CCSU back at the five by Shane Manson. And he's t chased down to the one yard line. A fumble by Grant, who lost the ball last week in a big spot. But once you get the run, you go to the right side. He has a nice little run. He breaks it off into the inside. And that's going to be tough to see from that angle. It looks to me, Randy, I don't know if the ball was still in his grasp when he touched the ground and then the ball came loose. James in motion. A keeper for Williams. And he gets to the 30. A first down, but he paid the price as he stayed on his feet, and he got popped by Onoraje Bonhametre. Those are the kind of plays that if you're the Central Connecticut State offense, you're saying our quarterback is going to make sure he's going to sell out and try to get it done, and that was a great play call by the offense coordinator from quarterback. Well, it's worked out pretty well. He caught 14 touchdowns last year. Williams to throw, and hits a big target at the 45-yard line. That pass is complete to Isaiah Williams. First down, CCSU. Williams. Second and long. Williams throws the screen and completes it for a big gain out of the backfield to Nasir Smith. Smith back there, and they pitch to Smith. Pepper chasing him down. Smith wins the race to the outside. Collins guides him out of bounds. First down, Blue Devils. Once again, wide receiver Isaiah Williams in motion. And he gets it on the end around. Or the jet sweep, I should say. A first down on a great run by Isaiah Williams. And I like oh. that's a matchup to look out for this close to the goal line. Petaway in motion. And it's on the ground up to the five yard line. From the five. Handoff on the mixed direction play, and it's Nasir Smith through the open hole for the touchdown and CCSU strikes first. McCray from his own end zone throws a deep ball and it is juggled and caught. Wow. What a huge catch by Nassim Brantley on third and long. McCray from his end zone rolls out and gets Brantley all the way to the 40 yard line. Kendall Coles was on the coverage, and how about the trust they have in McCray? Back up in your own end zone, one-on-one -on -one coach in the backside, and go get it, young fella, Nassim Brantley, winning that one-on-one -on -one battle. Makes it a five-yard gain for Grant. Second and five from the CCSU, 45. McCray has time, and now will throw it on the run. He has a man down at the 15-yard line, and it is a sliding catch by the tight end, Captain Ed Cudahy. In the end zone. For the first time, they've been close twice. Grant bouncing back. Oh, and he is driven way back as the Blue Devils bring the pressure. Renzi drives it right through, and the Pioneers are on the board with just over three minutes to go in the second quarter. One game with good coverage by CCSU. That is a big play for the Blue Devils defense. Now McCray throwing a deep ball down the middle. It is intercepted at the 40. He was looking for Troy Holland. And that gets picked off in the secondary for CCSU. We're going to see who we're going to see the rest of this game. And the Blue Devils spotted the ball at the 40. As Petaway goes in motion, he gets the jet sweep and uses the hurdle. An exhilarating play for the Blue Devils on the first play of the second half. Field, third and two. The Blue Devils have run for 110 yards, and Smith has a first down, and he breaks free from another tackle. Up to the 25, still going into the red zone, and a big run for the Auburn New York senior, Nasir Smith, his biggest of the day. Left side of the line for a big first down. 
No huddle offense. This year, Smith up the middle again. And he is inside the five. Classic run play call here. It's Smith into the line, and the Pioneers stop him and drive him back. 36% field goal accuracy for his career. He drills that one, though. It's a little chip shot, and it's right down the middle. Three points to the Blue Devils. It's a nice completion. I do believe that is his first catch of the year. Back to Malik Grant. Big chunk for Grant. A big run for Grant. Across the 40, all the way to the 35. On a fourth and goal at the one-yard line. They have not gotten into the end zone yet. He throws it over the middle. Caught by Denota. Rob Denota keeps on going across the five. And he is very close to a first down. And now yeah. you may have a really yeah. big decision on your hands. Sam Renzi is coming on for the field goal out of the timeout. And everything's clean. And Renzi... Knocks it to the outpost. Uh -oh. Fumble on the exchange with Houston. The ball down. The Pioneers recover the ball on the five-yard line. A huge break for Sacred Heart. Lost on the exchange. And Sacred Heart gets the recovery by Brendan Whitehead. Play. You got to be strong with the mess point. And he was too high with it. So the minute he tried to pull it out, the ball made contact with the running back that he was trying to pull the ball away from and keep it for a run. Today, Grant in the backfield. First and goal. Pioneers from the five. It's Grant up the middle and into the end zone for the first time today for Sacred Heart. Touchdown, Pioneers. And Sacred Heart has the lead in the third. CCSU. Gets a man in motion. They go to a jet sweep when they need one. And Lamar Evans stands up for the huge tackle on Isaiah Williams. On third and about half a yard, they go to a jet sweep. And they force a punt. CCSU elects to go for it to begin the fourth. Putting Petaway in motion. Williams throws it Petaway's way. First down, CCSU. As he was in motion, then came out of the backfield. Williams and the Blue Devils on fourth and 10. Looking for the completion. He got hit from behind. And they call it an incomplete pass as Pepra and Bonametre got in there. Three men in the backfield for Sacred Heart. And that includes Miles Talley. Now it's third and 19 for Sacred Heart instead of a first down. Marquez McCray dumps it off. A leaping catch by Malik Grant. Malik Grant has the first down with a stiff arm across midfield. A huge third and 19. It could not catch up to Malik Grant. First and 10 Pioneers. McCray to the sideline. He's got Brantley in and a double coverage. You see Brantley with a huge catch for Sacred Heart. And the Pioneers are cruising. Second and goal from the 15. As Denota goes in motion, back to Grant. Malik Grant up the middle, slipping through. Grant, touchdown. What a run for Malik Grant on second and goal from the 15. He's in for the second touchdown today. His second of the second half. And it's a two-score lead. Same score they beat Merrimack by last week. Here's Williams throwing one up over the middle. Intercepted. The third takeaway of the day for Sacred Heart is an intercepted by Shamir Collins to the 35. And you can break open that money bank one more time. The Pioneer sideline is on fire. Sacred Heart takes one away from the Blue Devils up by 10. For Sacred Heart defense and coach Mike Cook, he loves it for this team. today out at the one yard line give it to him the field just adam went with his run randy's call shame on you ruining this call by randy but how about this malik grant just feeling it right now and how about that stiff arm that didn't able to get him close to the goal line first and goal from the two grant looking to get in and finish off this drive with his third touchdown today He's in! Touchdown! Now it's official. Malik Grant with a three touchdown afternoon. What a day for the kid wow. from the Boogie Down Bronx. A three touchdown day all in the second half. For on this game, the Sacred Heart. Williams, who's been picked now a couple of times, 
throws this one out of the backfield to Aaron Dawson. And Aaron Dawson is going to try to keep the Blue Devils' hopes alive with a huge play out of the backfield. All the way up to the Sacred Heart 31. Williams wasting no time. Steps up. Williams taking off. Staying on his feet across the 20. Looked like he wanted to go in the slide and then nearly stumbled into what would have been a big hit from Horn. What a place, not just with the interceptions, but just being a sure tackler in the secondary. He's a senior from Millville, New York. CCSU into the 10. First down, Blue Devils. And the Blue Devils on the Pioneers, too. Handoff. And a touchdown for Aaron Dawson into the end zone for the first time this season on their own five yard line. Under two minutes to go. It's Mitchell taking off across the 20 and Shamir Collins meets him right there coming downhill. The big hit he needed to get to the 22 yard line and he is short Shamir Collins having himself a tremendous second half with the interception now he makes the bone jarring hit on Mitchell to stop him pioneers wrapping up things on their in-state rivals the team that considers themselves the defending champs <laughs> the Sacred Heart Pioneers with no question are the defending champs of the spring and they're going to move to two and one and snap a losing streak against CCSU by defending campus field this afternoon in Fairfield Sacred Heart beats Central Connecticut 27 to 17 and the Sacred Heart Pioneers set up the next biggest game of the year Duquesne next week right here at campus field